Revolt. Milne's been terrific. He's dangerous here. What a wonderful goal. Oh, that is oh. magnificent. Oh, brilliant. Now Mill gets hold of it. Crunch one, two, inside another, right for This is what he loves doing most, having shots for goal. And he gets his first. Milne, a couple of bounces, running the goal. Tarrant comes at him, kick around the corner, goal. Round the last player to enter the 500 club. Player number 49, Milne lets it rip. Player number 50, Stevie Milne celebrates in a big way. Was there a time where you thought 250 games was a pretty distant pipe dream? Uh, many a times. Um, even to this day, sitting here, it's you know, blink of an eye. You know, 13 years have gone past, and I'm on the over playing 250. Kind of, you know, dream, dream come true, and you know, hopefully we can have a win. When you were a young bloke stacking the shelves at Coles, were you pretty much thinking that that was going to be the way you were going to earn some coin? Yeah, it was. Um, you know, getting knocked back, not getting any letters from any AFL clubs after a couple of OK years at the Stingways um, and then doing a pre-season at Frankston and uh, lucky enough to be good mates of Adam, Adam Lamanaskis and then, you know, got the invite down to Essendon and um, I suppose I wouldn't be here talking to you but I didn't get that invite down. This is Josh Carbank come back on. Gail Wakefield going off. Milne, it's his first goal in the league pretty well done. A goal. You know, it's all about taking your chances and I suppose when I got that invitation I really, you know, grabbed it with both hands and. 12 years later of you know getting paid to do what I love is play AFL footy for the Mighty Saints. So um, I suppose it's you know it's pretty pretty special for me. So didn't panic and delivered beautifully to the smallest man on the ground. Now Milne is off. Little tiger in the tank. Look at that! It's through. You kicked plenty of miraculous goals over the years. Off the top of your head, are there any three that stand out above the rest? Oh, there's not really the one that <coughs> you know set shot against Collingwood in the grand final to get us really close, you know, probably um, plays in my mind a lot. Um, one against Port Adelaide, you know, along, along the boundary on the right hand side and, you know, gave it to the crowd after, they're probably my uh, two favourite two and a couple of lucky ones, you know, here and there, but there's no one that stands out except probably that, you know, one that nearly got us over the line in the, in the grand final and got us very close. John Sando gets inside the forward fifth very few players experience what it's like to kick 11 goals in a game. What are your memories of that night against the Brisbane Lions? Well, they don't come around much. It's only come around once in 250 games, and I've been waiting for it to come around again. It's one of them nights where every, everywhere you run, the ball just kind of landed, lands where you run and stuff like that. And, I was lucky enough to keep pretty straight that night. I think mum and dad have still got the, you know, got the DVD from the archive to keep it in the, in the lounge room, but no, it's one I'll uh, yeah, remember for, for a while. Goes short to Mill! And Stephen Mill will line up for goal number 11. Listen to the crowd, Mill's got 10 straight. A lot of players who cop a bit of grief from opposition supporters would probably try to ignore them and pretend they can't hear them, but you go the other way. Why is that? Oh, I just suppose it fires me up and people go to the game to you know, get a bit of entertainment and you know, they get fired up as well, so you know, just give them a little bit of a fist pump and just to say g'day, there's nothing wrong with that. And There's other cheer squads that are you know, a bit more fallen than others that you like to get, get into it a bit more, but um, it's just part of the game and all a bit of fun on the field. For all the goals that you have kicked, so many people talk about, about the one that you didn't, that one in the dying minutes of the grand final. Could you have got to that ball? No, it's, we're sitting probably a couple of metres away now and that's probably where the ball ended. Um, it's not a night goes by that I don't think of that um, you know, moment in my, in my life and uh, you know, where would I be right now if you know, that, uh, that ball had a you know, bounce my way, it could have you know, changed my life and changed the whole footy club's life. But, Everything's happened for a reason and you know we're here now and you know we've still got a pretty good chance this year. Clearance, Harbrow had an arm over Milne here. Milne tries the tackle, shoots it on the run, bounces it through. Vintage Stevie Milne. In a couple of years' time, could you see yourself lining up for your 300 game? 
Uh, it's a long time coming. Um, no, the body's feeling OK at the moment, but I don't think I'll be around to another two or three years. Um, still pretty keen to play on next year. I'm feeling OK at the moment um, and stuff like that. So uh, we'll just see how we go. I just want to really finish off the year well in 2012. And there's a lot of things, you know, we're doing well. And, um, you know, who, who knows what could happen.